for number 387 and our third of four roller coasters here today. Ready, Boogie? Go ahead to the stage. Yep. Maybe the only ride that has not been up to par with the rest of the park so far. A very short layout. While the first helix on the first drop is pretty decent, the rest of the ride is pretty bland. Uh, not, I mean, there's incredible theming around it, don't get me wrong, but it, it's just not up to par with the rest of the rides. I'm quickly realizing that you can just clean up on these single rider lines. We're doing Escape Through Gringotts and just walking through here. And I'll tell you what it feels like to go blasting through a cloud in one of these benches. So Harry Potter's Forbidden Journey just blew me away. I never imagined that something that wasn't a roller coaster could be so thrilling. I mean, at one point you almost invert. It really does feel like you're dropping into all those ravines, those valleys, those lakes, everything like that. It absolutely blew me away. This this park just continues to, to just fully exceed my expectations. Every time I think that they're set and they're there where they are, they just blow them away. We were about four hours into the day, that's it on Thanksgiving weekend, and we've got everything but uh, Hagrid's done. We're gonna go do that now. And after that, it's just uh, re-rides for the rest of the day. And much better than I expected. Again, sh sh kudos to the ride ops. So I just got off Hagrid's. Unfortunately, because I did single rider, I had to do the sidecar, but still, it was absolutely astounding. All seven of those launches, all completely forceful. That reverse spike, I had forgotten that was even in the layout. That took my breath away. Going around the, uh, those bank turns, all of them, nothing like those Zamperla motor coasters. Completely different. Intamin did so much work in this, it's incredible. The drop track, just as good as Verbolton. I'm just so happy to see that there's one of these motorbike coasters out there that is not a compact, forceless layout. 10 out of 10, hands down, without a doubt, better than Steel Curtain, the best new ride for 2019. <laughs> All right, and the sun is just about to set here, meaning it is about time for night rides. We're going to shoot for one on Hagrid's and one on Incredible Hulk. So incredibly, they're just letting us marathon through single rider line over and over again. I cannot believe this. After a two hour wait, paying off, I got motorbike these last two times. It's the most freeing I've ever felt on a roller coaster. It's such a unique ride. It's just everything times 10, especially at night. Those laterals, that whip, the forcefulness of the launch, that spike backwards, it's a masterpiece by Intamin. Now after marathoning Hagrid's, it is time for last rides of the night on the Incredible Hawk. Hawk at night, that was an incredibly different animal. It's a little chillier. You're just hauling through that entire compact layout. It's so forceful because of how compact it is. And the highlight of the entire thing in the very beginning. 
just screeching out of there right up that lift hill with all those lighting effects and everything right into that inversion and a complete darkness. It's such an awesome experience. Running through all these lighting effects, all the mist uh, effects, everything, incredible. The words can't explain how great of a time we've had here, our first ever visit. All right, and that is a wrap from our first ever visit to Universal Studios. We spent all 12 hours here and words cannot express how great of an experience we had. These ride ops are the very best out there. 59 different parks have never dealt with ride ops better than them. Not only do they want, but they encourage you to go ahead and re-ride through this single rider line. They know you put in two hours of waiting and they want to let you get back on again. Cedar Fair, if they have an open seat, they're going to tell you to get out of line and go back around again. It, it's, it's so amazing. We had such uh, low expectations with crowds and everything like that. We've been able to do anything we wanted to today. We've had plenty of time. Incredible. We hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we will see you here very shortly because tonight we're also going to hit Mind Blower at Fun Spot Kissimmee.